Hi, it's Christelle from HandyMarketer.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about Adobe products and in particular show you the differences between Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign to know how they work together and which one to use. So let's get into it. So let's start with Photoshop and as you can see here, I have a photo on the application Photoshop of a bison, I guess, or a buffalo, I'm not sure. And Photoshop is mainly known as an image editing software. So you retouch and you manipulate your photo, um, although you can also do many more things with it. When you work with Photoshop, you edit what is called a raster image made of pixels or tiny dots. You know, if I zoom in, you, you start to see all the little pixels, yeah, the little squares there. And so you can use Photoshop for changing the colors, resizing your photos. So here you go, for example, I, I can resize the photo. I crop it in a square. Okay, you can resize it so it's much smaller or bigger. Well, usually you resize it smaller. You can make it a image size, let me check. Um, make it a black and white photo. Okay, um, change the lighting so it's a, a bit nicer with a bit more contrast. For example, here you go. And now I like my photo like that. So that's what you use Photoshop for mainly for retouching photos, cloning elements, making collages, lots of different things. I mean, these days, every single photography is processed with Photoshop or a similar software before being published. If you think of models in a glossy magazine, cars in an advert, food and recipe books, for example. Most photos are retouched before they're published. Then you move into Illustrator. And Illustrator is quite a different software. It's a vector drawing software. The vector graphics are made of points, lines and curves, and they're coordinated and calculated mathematically. So it's quite different from uh, Photoshop and as you can see when I go through the images with my mouse some of the elements are highlighted and I can actually take them and zoom and zoom and grow them a lot and there won't be any loss in uh, oops, sorry, there won't go any loss in resolution because it's all vector mathematically calculated and I can instantly change the color of an element you see the lines changed um, you, you can do many silly things with Illustrator. It's a great tool for creating flat, um, see like, like that, flat drawings or logos typically, you design them and you can make very interesting changes by, um, well, for some reason it doesn't work here, but anyway, you can, you can design the shape and completely change each point of the drawing to make it the shape you want. It's a very interesting application. And then we move into InDesign. And InDesign is really more about the layout of your document. So it's what we call a desktop publishing software. And you use it to create brochures, magazines, newsletters, books, etc. <clears throat> you can think of it as a much more advanced version of Publisher. So we focus on the layout and the arrangements between the text, the images, and the logo. So for example here you see that I have some text, I have a title and some graphics like the header, the footer and my logo. And here you go in preview mode. It looks quite tidy. I mean it's a very basic example, but just to show you. And you have a myriad of uh, options in the menu, uh, in the contextual menu, or in the menu up there. You can arrange paragraph, text, characters. You have way more options than with other software and it's great for um, text flow, it's, it's very precise so it's a very nice tool. Now the power is in the combination of the three software. Of course some of the functions are similar between Photoshop, yeah, Illustrator and InDesign but the key is to actually combine the three. So for example if I want to design a brochure, like this brochure I have here in InDesign, what you do first is you design your logo in Illustrator or any elements that you want to include in the brochure, like illustration, technical illustrations, or anything. You find your images and you retouch them in Photoshop, and then you lay out the result in InDesign. 
And so you have a very nice document that you can publish to PDF and uh, it's very professional looking. So I hope that was a, a nice introduction to these design tools. And if you want more information, you can go back to my blog, handymarketer.com, or of course, go on the Adobe website, adobe.com, to learn about the different products. Thank you.